You're watching Spooky Noodles Channel. Subscribe or be my victim. Hello guys, what is up? It's your boy Spooky Noodles and I am back with another book review. Today, we review Thanksgiving Day Massacre by Brian G. Berry. Um, I first want to apologize if you can hear my dog in the background. She is chewing a bone and she will not leave me alone while I'm trying to record this. So, if you somehow can hear the chewing of the bone, I don't know how bad the quality of this audio is going to be with that bone being chewed on. But, forgive me. That's all I'm asking. So, with that, let's uh, hop into this review, shall we? So, I have the synopsis here. And then we'll delve into my review. And then maybe we'll talk about it a little bit. So, uh, yeah. Let's get into this. So here's the synopsis for TDM, as I'm going to refer to it as. It was a time for celebration, a time for the Thanksgiving Day Parade, a festival of tradition, a time for families to gather around platters, share laughs, regale in memories. But for one town, it became a vile nightmare of blood and unending terror. From the macabre mind that brought you Sleepover Massacre and Blood Lanes, a new chapter in the Slasherback series. A short tale of holiday horror that will shock audiences with its brutal descriptions, its use of blood in vulgar language and not suitable for the kids' table. So while you stuff your bellies, fill your throats, just remember, for one sleepy mountain town, there will be no leftovers this Thanksgiving. So now that we got the synopsis out of the way, we can now delve into my review. So first, I want to start this review, I start this, well, first of all, I want to say that I uh, start this review with a quote from a movie called Blood Rage. Um, so here we go. That's not cranberry sauce. This was the third installment from the author of the Slasherback series, Brian G. Berry, and it did not disappoint. If you're a fan of slasher stories, I firstly would like to recommend to you Brian G. Berry, and I... Totally jacked up Brian G. Berry's name. Yikes. Anyways, uh, especially his Slasherback series, which has three installments in it so far. I read Blood Lanes, the second in the Slasherback series, which was a great slasher story that took place at a bowling alley. And before you ask, no, you don't have to read these Slasherback stories in any specific order. So if you want to skip the first two in the series or just read them out of order, you can do so. So, how, do, how did I feel about Thanksgiving Day Massacre, which I will from here on out refer to as TDM? Well, I thought TDM was a great slasher story. TDM was pretty extreme, and I wouldn't recommend this story pe to people with weak stomachs. But for those like me whose stomachs are comprised of steel, well, this one will challenge your strong stomach. No one is safe in this for unforgiving slasher story, which made it very unclear who was going to come out on top? Since this story was not predictable, like some slashers can be, it was super fun to read. Like I said, nobody was safe from the turkey ripper. From page one, you didn't know who was going to come out alive, and the ending may shock you. The characters were great, the writing was great, and the kills were great. I love this one and definitely recommend it to anyone looking to read a great slasher. I give this one five blood-drenched feathers turkey feathers that is great story and great author if you decide to read this book prepare yourself for an unrelenting slasher story my fellow slasher aficionados will love this book so this brings me to the end of my review um so i wanted to say really quickly brian g berry is a friend of mine but i didn't he wasn't we didn't become friends and then i write his stuff it was more like i write his stuff and then we became friends because I really love his stories and I got it I had to get to know the guy and he's a good friend of mine now um, at least I like to think we're friends um, and his stuff is just fantastic but I didn't want you guys to think I was just giving this a good rating because he's my friend no I really honestly think this is a really good read and I highly recommend it to anyone who's looking to read a great slasher story or is in the mood for slasher flicks such as Blood Rage <laughs> which is another Thanksgiving Day uh, slasher story i'm currently in a slasher mood so i'm watching as many slashers as i can and it's going well so yeah 
But if you're like me and you're in the mood for slasher stories, totally check out Brian G. Barry. Brian G. Barry has a bunch of classic uh, slasher stories that you will enjoy, like Bloodlanes. Uh, he also has Sleepover Massacre, I think it's called. And um, I have yet to read it, but I own it, and I cannot wait to get to it. Um... He has other stories too out there. Um, he has some creature features, which I hear are really good. Well, I've only heard a little bit about them, but uh, it's his slasher back series, which are really, like, really good. Um, I'm not saying the other ones are bad or anything, but uh, I haven't read them, so I wouldn't know. But I hear great things about the slasher stories, and I, they, don't, they don't disappoint. They really don't. Um, so if you're looking for an extreme horror story that is on the slasher side of things, totally check this book out. Uh, it gives Richard Lehman a run for his money. So, yeah. And with that, I am done with my review. I hope you guys are enjoying your day so far and everything is going well for you. I am Spooky Noodles and this has been a book review. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you have a spooky night and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out, guys.